here at Rico's Place. How you doing? I'm, uh, I, I just thought I would try something a little different. I'm going to try to do like a quick, 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 quick video, you know, like a six-minute type cook on something to see what the response to that kind of is because uh, according to uh, old Big Lou Barbecue out in Louisiana, I'm a little long-winded. So we're going we're gonna to tone it down just a tad, maybe see what your response is. I'm cleaning up base camp uh, this weekend, Father's Day weekend, so I'm just working in the yard cleaning up, and I thought, hey, what the heck, I'm hungry. Why don't we do a, uh, now that Big Lou and, and CJ and uh, old Chef Johnny got me uh, thinking about the Weber kettle again, bringing back childhood memories. Why don't we cook a tri-tip, the offset method in the Weber kettle? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm setting up the grill in the pit. You can do this at home. I already got the tri-tip all spiced up, ready to go. We'll throw it on, we'll let it cook, and we'll figure it out at the end. We're going to put this piece of tri-tip on that's all spiced up. I got like a, uh, a salt, pepper, a little garlic, a little paprika on it. It's a real slight little uh, little rub, little little dainty rub. But first I need to show you how I'm setting up the grill. I went ahead and poured some charcoal along this side of the, uh, the kettle. Now I got a couple fire bricks here to keep the, uh, the power, the fire and everything from going in there. I have a water pan. I'm just using plain water today. I'm not going to do anything tricky, just going to do some water. I'm also going to then throw some chunk mesquite wood on here. I like the taste of mesquite. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, grill on it. And it's hot, so we're just going to use the old, oops, knock off the dirt. We're gonna throw the grill on. As we're gonna throw our spiced up tri-tip, fat cap down. I did no trimming, it's just like it came from the store. They left probably about a quarter inch piece of fat on the bottom. I like that. We're gonna throw it on the grill over the water pot, water pan. We're going to drizzle just a little bit of a garlic infused olive oil. We're going to check back in 30 minutes, see how it's doing. Okay, I think I'm right on schedule. That's probably about a minute and a half flat. Trying to do a six to seven minute video on how to cook a tri-tip in the Weber kettle. Let's take a look at it. Woohoo! That's looking just delicious. We need to do a little... Uh, little basting. I'm going to go ahead and wait 30 minutes, come back for another check. Take the internal temp, see where we're at. I'm going to continue cleaning up around base cap. I'm going to do some rotor tilling a little bit later. Get ready to put some lawn in for the dog. Daisy, boo -boo -doo -boo. Daisy, and Wiggle Wiggles. Anybody want Wiggles? I'll ship her to you, man. Just give me the call. This is getting close to our hour mark. 45 minutes, hour, hour and 15. I don't know. I was busy inside. But we're going to do a quick poke with the thermometer. See what's going on. This, uh, this tri-tip in the, the Weber kettle is just about done. We're right at the like the 135-ish the temperature or so. I waited a few minutes. We're going to take it out of here, put it into the blue cooler, let it rest a little bit. Then we'll come back, we'll take it out of the blue cooler, sear it off, and it'll be done. We'll just kind of swaddle it like a baby, throw it into here, we're going to let that rest just a little bit and we'll be back. Ooh. My god, it, it, it just smells divine
This tri-tip is, this is almost picture perfect. This is what they're supposed to look like. We went low and slow on the uh, Weber kettle, and then we seared it off on this just piece of old uh, five gallon drum. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to the little blue ice chest there, wrap it up back in the towel, and then we're gonna go ahead and let it rest for 30 minutes before we slice into it. And we'll do the little uh, baby swaddle. And then it's not my baby, so we'll cover the head. We're gonna let it rest. I'll be back in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go to the store and get some uh, dessert maybe for tonight's dinner. Guys, this is done on the old uh, Weber kettle grill. Old fashioned, old style, old school. I'm gonna call it an evening, go inside, take a shower. Dogs want out, chickens doing chicken stuff. It's just all in all, it was a great day today. I had a good day today. As always, guys, this is Rico, the tie-dye cowboy, wishing you well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Don't lose, my friends.